Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be testing out the new Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Duo. Alright, this is from Patrick Ta. Um, it just came out, I want to say like a week ago. I got it launch day. I stayed up until 12 o'clock. I had to be work at 4. Well, I had to be up for work at 4. But I stayed up till 12 to get my hands on this. I already got my fingerprints on it, but it's fine. I also went ahead and picked up his uh, Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. This is in Do We Know Her. And then I picked up a lipstick and a lip liner. Um, Very much out of my comfort zone. It's a bright orange. What was I thinking? I don't know. Considering this is the first like lipstick I've tried of him. I probably should have stuck to what I do best, which is nudes, but I wanted to be different. I have so many nude lipsticks, I want to try something different. Alright, so I already have my foundation on, which stay tuned because I filmed this um, using a Viro foundation. So this is the shade She's Chiseled. Now he came out with three... Um, shades I think he should have came out with with some more let's just be honest this one I feel like will be a little too dark for me so I might have to go with the very light hand but I felt like the medium one was gonna be too light and the lightest one was definitely gonna be too light so I stuck with the darker one um, I'm sure it'll work better in the summertime but I do think there should have been a couple more shades but not complaining because this I feel like it runs very deep all right so what I'm gonna do is take this BH cosmetic brush this is what I used to uh, this is what I use for all my like powder uh, bronzers and things so let's see Pick some up. Zoom you guys in. Okay, so far it's not looking too dark. And I do just like to stipple it. I think that's all we're going to do for now. And then I go in with a light hand. And so that's that side. Alright, so this is what the cream is giving. Let's see if the powder can do something for us. Alright, so now I'm going to take the powder. I'm going to take it with this Morphe E4 brush. This is one of my favorite bronzer brushes. Okay, that's cute. I'm take some down my nose. I don't really like focus too much on my nose. Um, I don't really think I have a wide nose, small nose. I think I like my nose. Well, not, I, I don't think, but I do like my nose. 
and I think it's like perfectly shaped for my face so I don't try to sculpt it or anything but yeah this is what the bronzer looks like I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit more full on I can tell I have on bronzer but it's not too much and I don't know if it's just because I decided not to go in with a heavy hand considering I was scared of the color but we're gonna put that to the side for now and then we're gonna go into oh wait I should do my let's put on my brow product it looks like it's lifting. I've only used this once when I first got it. But it looks like it's lifting some. So with this, you just take a spray bottle. Get it wet. And I'm going to go in. I need to start pulling this out more. It made my brow so feathery. All right, it did a little something. It did a little something. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. I got this in the color Do We Know Her. No, let me just move it. Alright, so I thought it was going to be a very bright orange, which the camera is like washing this out. But to me, it looks a little more coral corally. We're gonna try it anyways. I'm gonna take this brush, and he said what he does is he apply he applies the powder first, and then the blush, and it gives it a more punchy kind of color. I think I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna go in with this Morphe brush. Uh, it came in a set. really seeing anything so far right, I see a little something definitely very powdery Now I'm going to go in with a different brush and apply the cream on top. That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty. Dude, if y'all see the amount of blushes, cream blushes, and cream contours or uh, bronzers that I've bought, like Amber, you have one face. I wanted them all. I wanted them all. Right, I feel like the bronzer kind of got lost in that, so I'm going to just go back in. I'm 
she's pretty. Alright. So now I'm going to go in with the Patrick Ta Precision Lip Crayon. And she's not from here, y'all. And with these, you got to push them up. But you don't want to push them up too far because you can't push them back down. Let me swatch this so y'all can see. Like orange. I'm terrified. But it's unique to my collection, so... I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Ta she's not from here liquid rouge lipstick and again very orange I'm really scared so let's do it okay. I don't think it's for me Alright guys, this whole time I was trying to figure out why my face just didn't look right to me. It's because I didn't have on concealer. See, now I love it. Like, I think my face looks so good. It was the concealer that I was missing. But I actually really enjoy this lip color. It's very different for me. It's going to take some time to get used to. But I think this is going to be a great color for summer. Still look a little crazy, but it's fine. I think it looks cute. So, alright guys, this is my first impressions of the new Patrick Ta Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Do It. Again, I got it in. She's chiseled. Um, this is... I think it's really cute. Um, I might prefer my Jaclyn Hill uh, bronzers over this one but we're I'm gonna keep testing them out and see if my opinion changes so yeah guys that was my first impressions of a lot of the Patrick Ta products again everything that I just tried today was new to me except for the four brows but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below